Oh, JD here, Tyrrell Lewis, and as you can see, back on F1 2020, as always, and we are here today, yeah, this is not the set, round one the of the side. brand new WR yeah, but... World Online Racing season, and we are in Always the Mercedes wings, for this but... season, because we finished fourth, and I think Luck, the People championship leaving, winner from last race. season, is not taking part, so it's Oh, sorry, not Lutt. I think it was JKB who won the championship last year. Uh, Antoine and Pinecone are the only people ahead of me in car picks. And they chose different cars. So I am so in the Mercedes. And we start off with Australia. A track that I actually low-key really enjoy. However, as the game has gone on, so has the pace as well. I think I had pole in WR last season and in TSRL with a 18.7 or 8 or something like that. And you can see already, we've done an 18.9 as a banker, which was provisional P3. And now Shocking. coming across the line, this is my second lap, and it's an 18.711. So that rubbish. puts me back into provisional P3 again. But one thing to note is that the race is actually scheduled to be fully wet. So I was originally going to be running a much better set for the qualifying, but I've gone with a more understeery a higher downfall setup which is going to be much more suited for the wet conditions because you definitely do need it for the tire wear and just the performance and i also knew that it wasn't too bad in the dry quality it was only a tenth or two tenths slower realistically but it was just a bit harder to hook up here so so far on this lap the first sector is not particularly great really you want to be doing a 25 this is a 26 a mid 26 zero so about a tenth or half a tenth down of what I really want to be. But you can see we're still going a little bit great. We're wearing P10 now. So that just shows how much people improve throughout the session, especially for track evolution. You can go from P1 to last like I did in TSRL Silverstone. We're going through here a 47.3 middle sector. So that's not too bad at all here. And you can see we're still about 300s up, but plenty of time to find. But coming into here, we make a little bit of a lock up. And that was not optimal. We've lost about 600 of a second, but we gained it straight back. And now going through these two last corners, I knew this is where the time really was. And going through here, you can see we have gained a fair bit of time here. So almost a tenth quality, up. Man. I'm so shit and at it. And across our line is an 18.602, so which is <sighs> not a disaster, sake, but could have been so much more. And you can hear very frustrated because just with another two temps we would have been in the top three which would have made our lives a lot easier so and wet. yeah oh, very frustrating because uh, if i could just have those extra two temps which i'm trying so hard to get in qualifying at the moment i feel my races would just be so much easier because i just feel way more comfortable in race conditions than i do in qualifying but you can see we've got full wet here now but at least the setup i felt I didn't feel many people went for that wasn't a, jump start. <laughs> a wet approach setup for the race, judging by the lap times, especially. So, especially in the full wet, you the, the higher downforce is definitely going to make a big, big difference. So, I was slightly confident for this race that we could still do something. So, as the lights that go five lights, and the way they go now, trying to get a good start, and CRG Pinker gets a very poor start. So does HX. 4K, so the both of the alphas have a really, really poor start. So we try and find some space round the outside here, and then up into P8, up into P7, getting our elbows out slightly, which is very frustrating for the drivers behind. But if you want to keep these positions, and you need to outmuscle people in the first lap, especially in these conditions, because otherwise you're going to pay the penalty for the rest of the race. So had to be very aggressive there just to make sure I got up into P7. So two positions gained. Not a bad start by any means or stretch, but you're about to see going through this first lap that the visibility is almost zero. Uh, it's really, really hard to see. And Australia, I would say, is probably one of the hardest tracks in the wet uh, to race at and even just hook up a lap on. It's a very, very uh, tricky circuit. But as I said, I really do enjoy this track. I felt very very strong around here in the dry and in the wet conditions i've done a lot of wet around here in the past 
and in previous league races, I think in AOR, I won in the wet round here many, many years ago. So it's a track I've always been quite comfortable at in these conditions, wheel or pad. So again, with my higher downforce, and needing to do definitely a one stop you cannot do the full race in these tires that's where the downforce really comes into play because it really will help with the tire wear and the undercut is not that significant so i felt if i could gain a couple more positions and just stay with these guys then i have a great chance of doing really stop. well in this race so a good start so far but moving on to that four i'm trying to just put ron hart underneath as much pressure as possible you can see through the apexes, we definitely got a lot more speed than him, but they are faster in the straight line. But as the race goes on, the more it really does start to play into my hands. So right here, I'm just backing off a little bit just to have a little bit more of the visibility because we don't need to get right up close and personal. These tires aren't going to go the whole way. As of yet, as I'm saying, these tires aren't going to go the whole good way. In these conditions, I just can't get close. You can see, hear me say I feel good in these conditions, but going through turn one, we go on this curb oh and God. and I say that karma, whatever you want to say, that is just a complete <sighs> lapse in concentration. And and I say that in these I? conditions, you cannot afford to relax too much and Soon lose that I concentration that. because, especially on the exit of turn one, if you go on that curb and you accelerate and you're not fully on that curb, you either have to completely avoid it or completely mount it with your wheels. Otherwise, it would just not auto spin, but it is just very, very difficult on the traction. So we went back to P16, something like that. A few other people pitted, and now it is just trying to come back into this race as much as we could. But at least now we have some clear air, and now we are really able to try and flex of what the speed we actually have. But a lot of people have realized that they cannot do the zero stop round here. You have to make a one stop. But they are pitting very, very early. So they're trying to get the undercut on people because track position, especially when everyone is probably running a very similar setup, is going to be very, very hard to overtake. So they're just going for the track position, trying to get that overtake. Whereas with me, I've got nothing to lose. I'm just going to go deep into this race. And you can see the gap up to the cars ahead. That five seconds to Brown, three seconds to Dominic. You can see that gap is coming down pretty quickly now. So the pace was really really strong in these conditions i think it was out of the people who haven't pitted we were definitely the fastest car on track people like antoine uh critch and smasher behind they have already pitted a good few laps ago that like four laps ago or something like that so their tires are definitely going to be in a better shape at this stage because the wear does come on quite quick in these cars and you can see again the gap to dominic now it was three seconds now it's 1.5 now it's 4.3 to brown so we are closing in very very quickly and Antoine and Smasher weren't catching up that quickly but as now we've gone to the back 3.8 to Brown now half a second to Dominic this is where he was starting to hold me up you can see I had a red middle sector so I decide to now pit because obviously we're comfortably going to be able to get to the end of this race and I felt very very good on my pace itself so definitely go going to try and go for a little bit of an undercut on Dominic Definitely one long enough than we needed to do here. So let's see where we're going to come out. We'll probably go get undercutted by a few people. But our tyres are going to be in so much better shape towards the end of this race here. So see it's probably 14. I love a couple of cars. So we've got a Ferrari of Nico, VRT Lily. So we're in P16 and the only people behind us, HX4K and Clenzo, have retired. So we are effectively last in this race right now so we have got a lot of work to do but coming through into here vrt lily goes out wide here so we're gonna try and get some good traction take advantage of that unable to see how much ers he has got because the red light always flashes in these conditions so that is one move down so up into p15 so making progress very quickly but that is our second warning of the race i believe so we cannot afford to get any more now moving towards the end of lap 16, another person has pitted. I think that is Bobbitts who's pitted. And now we're back into P14 here. And now we've caught up to WR Nico. LVA Brown pitted, I think, a lap later. And the gap is about 3.4 seconds. You can see we're wrestling the car here because it is just so, so hard to get close in these conditions. So 
realistically, you either have to try and get them early or wait until their tyres go Sorry off. Now. And again, I know my tyres are going to be in quite good condition as Lelcio Leopard is now pitted now because I think he's had a bit of a nightmare race as well. So I'm trying to get as close as I possibly can, but I feel the pace again is super, super strong in these conditions. I feel really, really fast here. But now coming into the middle of that 21, Brown start to pull away and we've got our third <laughs> warning and that is a penalty and that means the gloves now have to come off oh, we have to take some risks now if we want to try and get into the points no everyone has now pitted now you can see that there is a group of cars in the distance going through into the last corner you couldn't quite see it at the minimap there but we are catching cars actually uh, fairly quickly at this stage you can see we've closed in a brown a little bit once again I'm just trying to get as close as I possibly can to WR Nico, but this is as close as I could really, really get. I'm just trying to put him under as much pressure as I possibly can here. Going into the third last corner, then into this penultimate corner. Was maybe thinking of a move down here, but you can see we're just getting very, very close. But on the traction, just with the dirty air and just the, how this game works, it's just so, so hard to do anything and this is really as close as I could have got and this was frustrating because we both had penalties he actually has a six second time penalty and I'm losing time to the likes of Brown and everyone else now but you are about to see if we skip on to lap 25 we have actually caught a train of people because myself Nico and Brown we did pit a bit later than everyone else and this is what I was talking about when you have to fresh your tires they are much more powerful than the cars ahead. So I was sniffing an opportunity to try and get something out of this race. And with three seconds now, as I said, the gloves are off. So Dominic has actually he tried to do the zero stop, but he's in fact actually got a puncture, I believe. So he was not able to make it to the end of this race. So now we're into P12. And now we're going to try and do something really, really close to the back of WR Nika, but not quite close enough on this occasion. Shall we go for a move down the inside here? We decide to think a little bit better of it because it's almost impossible to see the apex once you actually hit it. And you can see, look how many cars are here. Here, I think this is up to about sixth place or something like that. So, no, we've done a very, very good comeback. Been not really dragged along, but it's good that the people ahead of me also had some pace as well that we were able to just stick with. But now I just it's just so frustrating because i felt like we just had so much pace we were in such a good position at the start of this race bit here but someone has gone out wide brown has gone out wide so this could be an opportunity to try and do something here so we'll go you to rich and the ers here what is nico gonna do he's gonna stay to the inside are we gonna go around the outside of this chicane into the left right yes we do we get the move done making it stick not making any contact and that was such a nice move a crucial move that we needed to do and the guys ahead of us don't have penalties at this stage of the race here so we have to be aggressive if we want to try and get something once again from this race as brown goes out wide let's see are we going to go down the inside here we were thinking about it down the inside but we weren't going to be close enough and to be honest in these conditions that is not a move you want to be making on that particular corner so after this we've still got three laps three complete laps of this race still to go here and i think we're going to stay on board to the end of this race so it's getting very very feisty up here as we get a warning so i think that is our first warning after the three seconds so we can afford to do one more if we need to do so my mindset right here was just to try and be as aggressive as i possibly can i've got nothing to lose i'm outside the points the two people ahead of me have no penalties and I can't see anyone else further ahead of them on my screen if they got penalties or not. So I need to get the gloves off. I need to do something here different. Otherwise, I'm this comeback is going to be for absolutely for nothing. So you can see I'm driving with a bit of aggression here. Definitely a lot more confidence in these conditions. So I'm going to try and get a very, very good exit coming off this corner. And we don't get a particularly great exit. So we're not going to be close enough going into chicane as we were on the last lap but the cars up ahead are bunching up quite a bit here so going through this right hander let's see if we get a good exit we get a pretty decent exit coming off this corner is anything happening up ahead here i think a couple of people were 
thinking about going side by side this priority goes out very very wide here we're just going to follow these cars here here on this occasion and we are not going to be close i'm almost losing the car once again but you can see on the apex we always just carry so much speed through there so we definitely have some confidence going through the slow speed corners trying to get as close as possible once again and i believed as i said before at the start of the video you can see in the straight line we're definitely lacking a bit of speed but you can just see through the corners and on the traction we are definitely stronger than these cars and this is why the wings of 310 that i'm using is just paying is paying a really big benefit as we almost go into the back of lva brown here it's just so hard to spot the braking point in these conditions and on pc you can actually turn off these raindrops and the spray which makes it the visibility 10 times better but on xbox <laughs> you cannot do that or i think on ps4 as well you just are unable to do that completely so once again all i'm trying to do is try and get as close as possible to try and force brown and the cars are up ahead into a mistake as it's now getting seemingly a little bit argy bargy between pinecone and someone else we're definitely close to this app looks like some people are going side by side once again so we're gonna go slow in fast out approach for here getting a good exit we get a very good exit on this occasion using the ers but i don't think we're gonna be close enough for the move peroni is going very very defensive defensive does brown try and go for switchback but we try and get the switchback around think about that on the inside there not going to be close enough he goes in deep this could be an opportunity and what are we going to do go into build to corner. we're going to go down the inside here the corner where i said we should be able to do, but brown Fair play to him. He leaves a lot of racing room. We're trying to go around the outside. Try and get the traction with the sap. And we do. We get the move done into P10 in this race here. But it's still not over. We still have a lap to go in this race here. Now, let's see what we can do. Does anyone have a penalty up ahead of us? Going through it here. Ron Ha has gone off. Ron Ha has had a puncture and incident. So now we are into P9. And we should just about be within the points because Lily has a penalty and Nico behind him also has a penalty. So at this stage, we would have fought ourselves back into P10 this race. And my days, what race this could have been. We lost so much time with that spin as well going deep into this corner, but it's still not over. Anyone can get a penalty towards the end of this race here. So I'm still going to be pushing with absolutely everything and we've made some really really crucial moves in this race and you can see how well the setup is working it is working very very well at this stage of the race here so we're going to use all of our ers we're going to just try and use the rest of our fuel keeping it rich just to try and get as much turning as we possibly can we get a very good exit coming up here is this another opportunity to try and get another car let's see what happened Parodi is going very defensive he knows that I'm probably going to risk a move here. Trying to do the same as I did to Brown. But not quite close enough. Now into his third to last corner. Let's see what happens. We are very, very close. Antoine wins the race. Was thinking about down the inside. But we are not going to be close enough. The move just wasn't on on this occasion. And he also does not have a penalty. There is no point risking it. Coming off the exit here. Using the rest of our rich and the overtake. Let's see where we come in this race. Coming across the line. It is P10 in this Point. race and considering how much time we lost, which I think we're about to see from the race director, happy that we got a point, but man, without that mistake, it was just my mistake, a lapse of concentration, I think we could have really had a good chance of fighting for a really big result in this race, but... At the moment, some races are not going my way. I do feel I'm driving well, but I just need some races to click all together again. And you can see 21 seconds off the lead. And I think we'll go look at the race director of how much time we actually lost. So on that lap, we lost about 12 seconds. So normally it's a 37. We did a 49. So 21 minus 12. You know, we could have been in the top four, maybe the top three if we did the same strategy we went quite long into the race and we had a lot of traffic at the end as well so i think a top three would have been very very doable from there especially with the pace and viper was behind us as well he was in p16 so you know you have to put all the races together but i thought i did a good comeback 
and definitely getting back on form in terms of my driving I just need to definitely focus up a little bit more for the races itself but a point is crucial sometimes you win a championship by point itself so we are always go grind it out we never ever give up so again thank you so much for the support and I will catch you very very soon peace